First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Hashem, Kadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do rule well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the hopeful elect that scattered across the four corners of the earth. Wherever Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has placed you at in these last days. Shalom to you, Akim, that's out there risking your life and your freedom to preach the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you, confusion of face, Akim, that look like, you know, you may look like um the ones of other nations, but your Israelite and your bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? Shalom to you free women, the Agua, and you free kids out there that do subscribe. Okay? And inshallah want to you Akim as well. Today's lesson is going to be based about a man should be as a hiding place. Alright? And before I start this this lesson and these in these times and these days that we're in, you're gonna call you're gonna to wanna to call upon the names of your power. You're gonna to wanna to call upon the names of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh is the name of, of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God. Okay? Baha Shem just means in the name, and Yahweh Shah is the name of the only begotten Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And these last and bad days that we're coming upon very soon, that at, that is at the we're at the doorstep of this thing. You know, the keys to salvation is going to be through those names. All right? And the reason why I entitled this lesson, A Man Shall Be As A Hiding Place, because you have a lot of women out there that think they're going to save their self, or think the money or the resources that they have now is going to save them. That they're going to see that in order to be saved from all this hell that's coming, you're going to have to be under a man of the Lord and you're going to have to get right. All right. So you brothers that's out there that may, you know, you may not can't get the woman that you want. Or, you know, may not just be in any woman at all. Don't worry, brothers, because very soon this was going to happen. OK, this is Isaiah. Chapter four, verse one. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread and wear on a pill. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Okay? A day is time of Jacob's trouble when all hell breaks loose. When it be famine, martial law, you know, when that mark of the beast is implemented, when it's cash, cash when can, when it becomes a full blown cash society. Alright? It's gonna be chaos, hell, pandemonium, anarchy everywhere. Alright? And we will eat our own bread. Meaning you're not going to have to cook. You're not going to have to take care of them. They're going to be more willing to do it for themselves. But the only thing about it is they're going to be called by their name. Now how is a woman called by a man's name? Right? Through sex. Marriage. Right? So at, during, that, during this time period in life, these women that you may be seeing doing good or, or whatever the case may be, it's going to be a flip. You know, and this is not one of those videos to sit in, in, in as you say, bash women or, or when I know these are one of these videos to, to, to let the, our people know what is to come. All right. And then you do if you have a few sisters out there that's doing it right. All right. This is not a video applying to y'all, because if you continue to pray and continue to be obedient, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Salakim, I got a little excited, will send you a man of the Lord. Just in due time, just gotta be patient. But you know, to, to the Ahim, you know, I just based this this video as to, to give each other, you know, a peace of mind and an understanding. Okay? Because our glory was taken away from us. Our woman was taken away from us. And you can see that we're a defeated nation because you look at our women today. But all that's gonna flip. All right. This is Micah, chapter seven. I'm gonna do verse nine and ten, and I will bear the indignation of Yahweh because I had sinned against him. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. And that's has happening now. We have the names. 
We're able to call upon the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, he's going to execute judgment for us. He's bringing us to the light because we know who we are. We're not in that darkness no more. We're not in that dark state, that dead state. Okay? This is verse 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is Yahweh thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now, she should be trottled down as mire in the street, okay? Because these women are going to see. They're going to see these things happening, okay? She's going to she, she's going to see it. So don't don't worry about don't worry about this, man. You know I can stay strong. Keep doing what you got to do, all right? Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is going to provide for brothers, all right? And the indignation is just righteous anger, all right? We have sinned against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, so that so therefore he set our women up. Above us, over top of us. But very soon that's going to flip and the tables are all going to turn and we're going to be giving back our women. We're going to be giving back our glory. Okay? So the so called black woman, the so called Hispanic woman, the so called Native American woman, you know, whatever your rightful tribe come, come from, you're going to come, you're going to convert and you're going to come back to a man of the Lord. All right? Because when, when all hell breaks loose, what type of man do you think is going to be able to, to withstand and, and, and walk, basically walk around the world with a non-fear-like factor on it? And then you know what? A lot of these women are going to witness these brothers, you different Akim out there. A lot of women are going to, are going to witness you brothers have spiritual powers. The spiritual powers is coming. It's not no, no fairy tale, no fantasy, or nothing. Spiritual powers is coming. You know? Just gotta believe, brothers. This is Isaiah chapter 32, verse 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind, and a cover from the tempest, as the rivers are slow. As the rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a very land, okay? And what's that worry land is talking about? America. Because this place is going to be destroyed with nuclear destruction. And a man shall be a hiding place. You know, a man shall be a hiding place from what? What is that wind? It's talking about the destruction. All this hell is about to come upon this place, all right? All this hell is, all this hell is about to come upon the face of the planet Earth. A man is going to be a key way, you know, to salvation. So you women that's out there, you're going to be forced to have to get right. You know? You're going to be forced to have to make things right with, a, with the Israelite man that is a, 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 a part of the elect. Lord willing. All right? And Lord willing for you, I, why that do you learn and, and, and you're doing what you have to do you know, I you know I pray Baba Kusha, which means please that Yahweh Bashem Yahusha send you a man of the Lord to protect you from all this hell that's supposed to come. Because only a man of the Lord is going to have the proper understanding and knowledge of and, and, and you know and how to maneuver during these um rough and bad times. An average Jake on the street is not going to know what the fuck is going on. So locking for my word choice. All right, but a man of the Lord is going to know why these things is happening, and the man of the Lord is going to know how to better, betterly be prepared. And you know one thing, a man of the Lord is going to have a relationship with Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. So that right there, will help you be safe from the destruction that's, that's to come, especially if he's a part of the elect. All right. This is Isaiah chapter 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the wedge of Ophir. Okay? And why is a man going to be made more precious than fine gold? Because in this time period, it's going to be very hard to find a man. 
because something it's going to be something that's going to be taking place in this this time period that actually be able to come across a man a man of the lord it's going to be like finding fine gold and finding fine gold is a very rare thing to find you know it's a very laborious laborious process into that you know you're not going to just walk down the street and find you know a piece of fine gold no you have to do a diligent search right I'm going to read that again. I would make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the gold of Wedge of Ophir. Okay? So this is this is going to happen very soon. And what type of man? A man of the Lord. Okay? So just like it says right here in Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1. In that day seven women shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own appeal. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Okay, take away that shame. So, I'm telling you, Akim, this is about to happen very soon on a real high grand stage level. You know, a man is going to be a hiding place from destruction to come. All right? So, you're going to have, <laughs> Akim, you're going to have so many different women, man, that you, you're just going to have to try to find a way to, to, to fan them off or something, disappear from them. Okay, but these women are going to see the fame that the men of the Lord are going to have, and they're going to want to have that protection. They're going to want to be protected, because who the, where else are they going to run to when shit hits the fan? When Esau turned his back on them, where are they going to run to? They're going to run to exactly to to the, to the same men that they put down and treated like shit, look look down upon. Okay. But Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shah is going to allow a mighty, a mighty shift in, 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 um, what is the proper word? Humbleness to happen. You know? So just like it's saying, in that day seven, just seven just meeting means a, um, completion of number of women. So it could be seven, it could be five, it could be twenty. It could be however it's suitable fit for Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shah to use a man of the Lord. But this is going to be for a man of the Lord. A man that believes on Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shah. A man that's doing the will. Keeping, trying to keep the commandments to the best of his advantage. You know, the hopeful elect. A man of that of that aspect. Right? So like I said, for you Aguadas out there and you praying for a man of the Lord to come your way, it will happen. You have to understand that he's not going to be alone. There's going to be different women he's going to have. But in that time period, all that's going to be out the door. Women are not going to worry about, oh, you got another woman. They're just going to be worried about being protected and one of that his protective. You know, a man is going to be a, shall be a hiding place from the wind, from the destruction that's going to come. All right. So I hope this, this video was um, edifying, you know, just really built up, you know, Build the brother spirit and let, let brothers know, you know, let the Akim know, you know, the Agua too, you know, you Agua that's out there, you praying, you know, you how about your mouth shot here, your prayers, and he's going to send you a real diligent, diligent man, the Lord, but you have to be willing to serve that man and be under that man, and you Akim, you got to know that if you have a woman, you, if you had a woman and she left, don't worry, Yahweh Bashem and Shah is going to replace all that. I mean, that's a part of our hell. You got to know that as well. So if you believe on Yahweh Bashem and Shah, you got to believe that if women were taken away, you got to believe women are going to be brought back. Women know what we're a part of. They see us, brothers. Come on. Okay? So just know Yahweh Bashem and Shah is going to do something real miraculous that he's going to make a man, one of his men, you know, a man he held by Shemel was a hiding place from this destruction to come. Right? So giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rikakadash. We give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do you well. Peace, love, hope, salutations to the hopeful elect that scattered across the four corners of this earth where Yahweh by Shemel was has placed you at. You know, to Yaakim out there, Shalom, love you, brothers, stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. Seven women is coming. More than seven women is coming. Believe that. You know? Shalom.